Today I decided to do a speed run. 3, 2, 1, go. Yes, this is for fun. No, this is not going on a leaderboard. I just decided I wanted to do this for some reason. Don't question what I do with my life, please. I want to collect money. That's my first step. Knowing where money is is beautiful. Knowing where artifacts is even better. I think what I'm gonna do for my speedrun is just like get the power suit. The best suit in the game, which means I have to do a bit of grinding. But hey, I've never hey, it's not like I've never done grinding before. I can do this. I just had to check if I could mute the music because it could be a bit loud sometimes. Because I want you guys to hear me, you know. Sell our items really quickly. Like a pure speedrunner. I did the wrong thing. Um. As you can tell, I'm not very good at this. some money, then we're gonna buy scuba gear, duh, and then we're gonna get the first part of the suit, which I probably should have done like the first thing, but it's a pure whatever. Hmm? I, don't, I don't care, I'll search this place as well. I'm speedrunning, why would I not? This place, thank you. This place has a, some, some cool stuff. Like this. The Roblox necklace. I've always wanted to get one of these. My girlfriend would probably want those for my birthday. If I had one, that was. Um, I think the speedrun just ends if I die. That sounds logical. Because death is permanent. It's like how Minecraft speedrun works. Go through here if we find any more money, we collect it. Now we get that. And. So. so I've come to sell my crap. buy bag upgrade one so we can carry more stuff so we can make more money more easily we're also going to do some we also want to do some quests just the short ones i don't want to do quests that are too long just to pad out the speed run because obviously i'm trying to go as fast as possible honestly i don't know why i'm doing this I'm not putting us on the leaderboard, so why even do this? Is there even a speedrun category for Quill Lake? I don't know. But alas, I'm doing it anyway. There's nothing here, I'm officially starting to drown. Not. There's a Sonic, there's a necklace over here somewhere. Which allow me to get some good money right through here. I think. And that's a pendant. It's through there, I'm pretty sure. There's a general one, I have eyes on the pendant. The Celtic necklace, and this should grant us with some more easy money. Easy money, easy clap. Don't question why I said that, just know that I did. Yeah. Celtic necklace. 
do give me some money to sell the current stuff I have right now. Oh, glitch. I'm getting glitched, that's okay. Wrong thing. Now we have 160 cash. Which means we have enough for scuba. We're gonna go over here because that's where the because that's where um the first component is. This lip this would like lead us to like normally like this was designed to lead us to um the Easter egg event for like the last egg hunt. This like, like 2021 had a metaverse or whatever. I'm not gonna do that because that's a kind of a long quest, and I don't want to do one of those in the speedrun. As our first part, the power suit schematic. Now we're ready to explore deeper areas. Now we're, now we're ready to explore deeper areas. I would buy a boat, but I don't have enough money. Which kind of, which, um, kind of sucks. There's a new player over here, he's probably not speedrunning. Sir? Sir? Well, if I had a guy like that, that would have been very convenient, but no. Actually, he wouldn't have got me very far. But. Whatever, I'll just count as a time loss and get over with. Now let's dive. Yeah, I had that guitar. I had the Ocarina of Time jams. Now we are in deeper waters. And here should, and here is an easy item location. I'm gonna collect the coins here as well while we're at it. Who knows? These eight coins in here could basically save the run. You never know. So yeah, let's just collect, we've got to collect as much money as possible. Also, these boy coins here might also save the run. I'm going to save it for every little bit of money, aren't I? But basically, we need to collect a lot of money so we can buy, like, our first like suit. We need a lot of it. We're also gonna need 500 coins, which is going to be a pain. So yeah, we're gonna have to do like a few quests. We might have to do that quest. Let's um get this extra oxygen so we don't have to spend more. That's the lava area, I think I'm just gonna stay away from that. Let's go to okay, get this coin. Let's go to the pirate ship. I remember there should be something on the top of here. An artifact that sells really well, I think. It's also this, the dragon bone crown. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that artifact sells very well. speedrun gameplay you wanted. So 
So 39.6 artifacts. Hopefully this sells hopefully these sell well. Oh those sold re those sold really well. So right now we're gonna buy we're gonna buy three really important things in here. We're gonna buy the advanced suit, the life jacket and the die wig. These are gonna help us to go faster. These are gonna do these are gonna help us go faster. And while we're here, we're also going to buy a boat. So you can get this everywhere from A to B from A to B. Cash. Cash. Vertical steps and now he has his own vertical step, which is the account I'm using right now. His own boat. No, I'm not going to use my main account because I've already grinded way too much on that in this stupid game. Yeah, this goes pretty fast. And yada yada yada. And now we're going to go back, back down and get some more stuff. First, there's two really simple locations that I want to get. First is on these ice stalls. The second is by the waterfall. I'm also going to zoom in my camera a bit just to. Do you see just how much fast that was? This one is going to help us up. The advanced suit is going to help us a lot when it comes to speed. Look at this, we're already going so much faster. And it comes to the anchor and to the, um, the, life, the life jacket. That's going to cut when we want to like resurface and like descend a new surface. We're just going to be set for life. We're going to pick this up and go walk to our boat and go down. Never mind, that leads us into a hazmat area, and I do not want to touch that because I will die. Today we're gonna swim down here, we're still in the stone house right now, aren't we? No, we're not. Let's get a bit of money on here. There's an item down here. And if we might just the other way. Gold there. Never mind, actually, it was this way. Hey, more coins. Those could save the run, I think. Dragon Tamer. And we already have three artifacts. And we have three artifacts, we're going up, we're going fast, we're eating ice. Yeah. I think I have to do one of the most annoying quests in this game. It grants us 50 cash, but um. I think it's the only way this one's going to be saved. So I'm going to do grab this Tix necklace. There's a few items here. There's this, I think there's one more deeper in. Yeah, now we are full. Stuff. We have 56 coins as well. Is really good. We still have plenty more oxygen to spare. Apart from we're not going to buy oxygen, we're just going to be using tanks to scatter the map. There's three of them, by the way. That's going to be very fun. I'm going to skip out on the pawn shop so I can just get started with this quest. is a little bit annoying because of a couple, because of um, one certain part you need to do immediately. I'm going to do the egg hunt quest. Which basically as you go through two rooms to get two keys. The one on the left has two simple puzzles, the one on the right is just parkour and walking straight forward. Yeah, we're gonna do the uh, more annoying one first. So this um I'm sorry right now, this one could be a run killer. And yeah, we get this um cave amb amb ambience. It's not like Minecraft, so I hope you enjoy it. Go through here, get some money. Go right back up, we pass that form, we'll be going back this way anyway. And now we 
we are here. So that's where the egg is, but we need to collect two keys on each of these doors. Now we need to do some two simple puzzles. I'm gonna start with this one. This isn't the annoying one. It can be a bit annoying. You see where I'm coming from? Now the second one is the run killer. Four switches. Yeah, I think you can see where I'm going with this. Oh, I did it! Okay, that usually goes. A, that usually takes like five minutes for me. But no, I did it like really quickly as a matter of fact. So now we've got the first key, we're not going to submit just yet as it'll waste a bit of time. I'm gonna start sprinting right now. Now we're gonna now we're gonna like keep off the sprint ordeal for a bit. As um, I don't want to um overshoot any of these jumps. Except that one, I kind of want to go faster there. Check the breathing. I sure do. It doesn't even matter, that wasn't like too much of a run killer or anything. We're just going to walk forward. Stop a little bit so we don't fall off. Now, this is the second key. Now if we go through the door, this will give us an easy shot straight back to the main room. Faster if we just reset our positioning. We've acquired the egg now. Shut up. Now we're going to um, claim our reward of 50 cash. This we most likely make a fortune. These two are on the way to get the egg hunt. That's probably gonna take a while on that. Just gonna a little bit. And I'll hold back on it a bit now. We're in the pawn shop. Also I'm gonna buy this. Just so I can return it a lot faster. I'm gonna go back to our boat. Now what we're going to do, there's a shack here, we're going to set our boat up permanently at the shack Just so we don't have to waste money on the shack bin So basically just an easy way to save money So that's where our boat will permanently reside, we have 225, I hope that's enough for the next suit I don't mean to do that Shop Right, 170 and 220 is what we're looking for. Still not going to spend any money. I'll put our regular suit on for a little bit. We need to go fast, you know. Go. Go fast and pass. Back to this. This what this suit's slower, but it'll help us survive in here. There's a couple artifacts in here. In one bottle, we're gonna head for the sewers first off. The 
was that was a fish. Okay. I thought that was an artifact for a second. <laughs> oh, never mind. It is kind of dark, I know, but I do know my way around this place. Now this will give us a fish. a lifetime basically return the child then we're going to grab the head the um, head bones as I as far as I'm concerned these sell pretty well now we're gonna grab a hundred free cash go down here to this guy who goes on hundred cash but we're not done here just yet. We're gonna collect a few more artifacts. We're gonna grab this radioactive robot. But more importantly, we're gonna grab this power cell, which is our third out of four components for the power suit. And now the last one is in the lava area. The last one we need is in the lava area. I might need to buy the other two, other two suits but that just depends on like how much like artifact there is left you know there's a journal the compass anything else in it nope so I can check collect some more money Stop. We'll equip this speed so that it gives us our speed back with this. There's a few items in here we can get. However, it's going to be extremely dark. If we go along here. Go up. I'm probably going to need to buy the flashlight. 83, that's not the best. We are probably going to need to buy more oxygen just to make sure we do not die. We're also going to buy the flashlight. And that's the last thing we're going to buy from this guy. So yeah, we have our inventory. So yeah, we have our inventory for the run. Now let's go get those items. They don't sell for them. they don't sell too well, but they could save us in the but They could save us. You honestly never know what could save you and what could in this be done. Like in Minecraft you could pick you could pick up a random gold like gold pickaxe.
That means I found it. Okay, sorry, I just have to concentrate for a bit. But we found it. This is actually a little difficult because there's a couple jumps that you actually need to sprint for. Like this one. That jump always scares me. Don't want to sprint anymore. Now let's grab all the stuff here. So I'll get back to the beach. As I said, these don't sell for too well, but they could definitely save us in the... God. Could definitely save us in the long run. Consider we need to get, like, 500 coins. Thankfully, the lava area has so much stuff we can sell. There's so much sellable stuff in the lava area, and thankfully Merlin's shop is basically right next to it. There it is, we're already here. See how close it was? This should be a breeze. Go took a little bit down there, but that's okay. There's nothing there, right? Yep, there's nothing there. And if we don't stop moving, we should keep all our like other suit speed maintained. If we stop, that's when it goes away. I don't know why it's designed like this, but I'm not gonna question the devs. I think that made all our speed go away. Oh, we have um, immediately three things. Series of the series is guys. area I don't want to 
I do not want to go to the pirate area. That's why I should walk really high, just keys keys. I'm not... Uh, I'm gonna have to go to the pirate iron, aren't I? There's a pirate snow. There's another couple things I missed kinda earlier on, which I am going to get now. I'm not gonna sell just yet, that's alright. Thank you, Liam. Sand together, then you. This is what would happen. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. I'll check that out later. For now, I'm I'm currently trying to speed run. I thought I'd have to speed on a Roblox game, but whatever. So much money. We're... We need to collect 200 more money. We're doing this. We're doing it. After this, I'm gonna go sell my stuff, go to the caves, because there's some other stuff in there which um, sells decently, I'd say. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna think why sell because I know a lot of space. And that area is kind of packed. Get the coins, you know, guys. Get the coins. Beach. Watch over, sell our two artifacts and our eight coins. 41, not bad. Look, we're only, we have we need less than 100. Actually, your quest isn't worth it, it only gives me a... It doesn't give me anything. Over here we should find a pickaxe. I was right. Don't want to go first person, honestly. Not that I'm scared, I just don't really want to.
myself for wasting time. Whatever it's a time loss, I'll get over it. When I said those acorns would be like the rank saver, they were. Now we have 511 coins, we're going to buy the thing. Guess what? We need to wait 5 more minutes. So I'll do a little bit of the monologue, I guess. So back at zero, like everything should be. Yeah. Quick little monologue. And the reason I decided to do this. Dream reference, I was kind of like this one, but it didn't like properly feel like one, you know? So, like, I just want to get from doing a little bit of speedrun. I want to better do it than one of the first games I ever played on Roblox. Basically, the story of how I first came across this game on my first ever account was I found it in my recommended section, I had no idea what to do. Most of that came with not being knowing how to sell my coins. That was my that was how I discovered it. I eventually got into this. I have still been waiting for the Atlantis update for God knows how long. In fact, I've even given up hope on it ever coming out. Just like I gave up on other things in life. Yeah, you know, as one day it might come out. One day maybe I'll get my wish. Make one day maybe I'll be happy for once in my life. Not that I've ever not been happy in my life, just, just saying, you know. Sometimes you don't feel happy about something. You know, there's actually some people who've never felt happy in their lives. And this is taking a turn for like, I don't know where, so we're gonna stop talking about this kind of stuff. So I just quickly want to say we are at, as of recording this, 66 subscribers. I'm gonna set a goal. The end of June, I want to get a hundred subscribers. So please do share this like video with like other people who might like it. Because I've been doing this since 2019. Like this, I want to be my full-time job, and that's not a lot of things people can say. People don't really like. They can't really like spend the time playing video games for others to enjoy, which is why I heavily respect those who do. Those people are like heroes to me. To nothing but heroes. I just want you to know that. And that is why I'm doing this. For the people. The people who want to do this but they just can't build up the courage to do it for themselves. Because I'm gonna be real. My heart, I'm a whip. But 
I persevered through that. Just like I persevered through many things in my life. Just know for those who are too scared to suffer, no matter if you think it's impossible or not, there is always a way to find yourself to find, find a turn in the situation. There is always a way to do something else. And just know that. Because you could find it. Or who knows, maybe it could find you. With that, let's end off the speedrun, shall we? Never mind, he's apparently slow as all hell. I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the run. It has to be like four minutes or something. If I keep doing this, Susan really have some patience. I just did a monologue with the people who are watching this video. Just let me. Actually, I might send this to a public keyboard. I might send this to speedrun.com. I don't know yet. Maybe this. Maybe by the time this video is out, I will do it. And there we go. That is officially the end of the speedrun. I hope you liked it. Someone post in the comments how fast that was, please.